it's me Asada. I am back with another video. Today I am starting this series or this journey. I'm not sure if it's going to be one video or two videos or however the case may be, but I am going to be doing my very first pop-up vendor craft fair for my small business. I've had my small business open since 2021 I think and this is my first, I've only sold on Etsy and Shopify and this is my first time doing a actual like pop-up market. So I'm going to share with you guys like everything I'm doing to prep for it. I'm in my studio room slash get ready with me room. If you guys are wondering, my small business sells tote bags as you guys can see there in the back. Um, stickers, cups, kunex, t-shirts, um, accessories, a little bit of everything. And so I'm really excited for this market. It's in about two weeks. I have this weekend and next weekend to prep for it. And then the following weekend is actual market. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. I've been ordering all my supplies and my inventory uh, for the market. I've been kind of just like buying things as I need them because I haven't really been putting a lot of energy towards it because of course I just had Donnie, who's my son. He's seven, almost seven months old now. And so that was this was kind of put on the back of burner, but now I have more time and I'm really excited to do this pop-up market and of course bring him with me. I also got my cups in and then I need to go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Home Depot this weekend. So yeah. Hey guys, it is Saturday, October 7th, I believe. And I just got my square reader. This one is the free one so it's not the one that has uh the tap it's just the mag magnet stripe one just because it's my first market so i was like i'll just see how it goes and then if i do more i'll invest in the tap to pay plus i, I think i can get tap to pay on my phone i'm gonna test it out with prices to see if it works but i got that and it came really really fast i got a bunch of stuff in the mail i got all my crew most of my crew necks and Amazon supplies, so yeah. I went to Home Depot yesterday and I picked up some of sampler paint things of my small business colors and I needed four colors. I only have basically like two or three colors of my small business, not including white or black. So I'll show you guys what I have outside because I have to do my last final color. This is what it's currently looking like. If you guys saw my last video, then you know that it was white so i got all these colors here these are just like little five dollar sample cups from home depot and they have an app called the home depot project color and what you can do is you can actually upload a photo i'm gonna show you guys real fast so like i don't know if it'll work but like a photo from like canva or anything that's what i did and then you can just put the color thingy on there and it'll tell you what colors match the best for that photo um and then i'm also using this design from pinterest but using my colors so uh i have california coral and uh musical mist are like my brand colors but musical mist is a little too white so i mixed them together and i made this like light pink color which is more like my shade and then i needed two more so i got like a golden yellow color and then i also got like a bright pink which i'm gonna do right now so i'm gonna do this and it's supposed to be all the purple ones like the dark violet purple ones to do a quick little haul of everything I have bought and or gotten so far for the market. Um, I had to buy some vinyl because I needed some. So I got this pack from Tech Rack on Amazon. I got these Velcro sticky back fasteners for my price tags around stuff. These stretchable tablecloths. This is a two pack in the ivory color my friend has the ivory color and it looked really good plus i was like my name is ivory and i need designs so why not get an ivory color instead of white this is a like sunglass holder but it's also going to be my sticker holder so i have to put this together i got more 
vinyl. I have like different brands that I really like. And then I'm assuming this is my wooden four tier stand for my cups. It is Sunday, October 8th. It is the day after yesterday. And I was only able to do three cup designs yesterday. I'm kind of just making sure I don't overwhelm myself. So I'm doing a little bit every single day. So today I was able to get some done and I'm gonna show you guys the designs that I have so far. I'm almost done with all the cups and then I can start making tote bags either later during the week. But um, yeah, so I made all of these today. These are really fast because they're just like single color um designs in white so we have the floral line art which is my most popular bestseller uh cafecito y chisme we have a white retro flower a purple retro flower and then i have a hot pink barbie retro flower and then yesterday i did my halloween ones so i have this one which is like a nice um very like aesthetic I don't know why it's not focusing. The nude beige aesthetic Halloween one with ghosts. Then I have this one, which is just um, pumpkins and candy corn with stars with that same beige aesthetic. And then I have this one with the white ghost and the flowers. So definitely different vibes. Um, hopefully people like them. So I have some holiday ones because it is like a holiday Halloween spooky theme. It is Tuesday, October 10th, and I am working on my small business for my market coming soon. It's Friday. My market is in it's eight days. And I got a few Amazon packages. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And then, yeah, also share with you guys what I've done recently. And then I'm going to end the vlog here and then probably do another one afterwards, like a part two. I got these craft paper bags from Amazon. Um, they were three different sizes, a hundred of them, I believe. So I have to like take these out and put my sticker company brand on them. I also had cut all my vinyl for my shirts and then I also made some cups yesterday. I have this one that says I'm just in a silly spooky mood. And then I made this with Mama Needs Coffee. I really love this color, like my favorite. And I got more of these comfort color orange ones because I'm going to be making a Halloween. Um design so I got a few more of these because I only had three but I realized that three might not be enough. I also picked up some of my self-adhesive laminating sheets for my stickers because I was out and this is a 50 pack so it'll be enough for all the stickers I'm about to make. That's not good. Okay. But. Alright, after much trial and error, I finally got them. I got two of them done. 
which is good news for me, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna take it because I've already wasted three of my really good tote bags and I'm really upset. Thankfully, I bought extra, um, but yeah, so. Print is so close to the edge, it's really hard for me to get the bottom, so I'm just gonna use my little makeup brush that I've been using to paint it in. And it's already outlined, so it's not that hard for me to do. Guys, everything is coming together. Tote bags are dried, finished. All my, it was always the Jags crew necks. My test of timing of your journey, pink crew necks. I finished all my mama crew necks, rest of the totes. The beige or sand is so beautiful, guys. It looks amazing. It honestly, looks like really expensive, like something you would see at like Urban Outfitters or something. Um, more black and then all the Halloween are none. So last thing for apparel is these and then one of these did come stained for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was for like the dye from the comfort colors. <sighs> As you guys can see there's like orange stuff on there. So they're gonna send me a new one so I can't really do all of them today. My camera is about to die, but I wanted to update you guys. I got all my stickers done today. I also got all my pricing signage done. I made these myself. And everything in the apparel is done. The only thing that I have left to do is brand everything with Ivory Designs on like the tote bags and apparel. And your girls won't be semi done next. I have to do like a little mock up type of thing um, in my house to see how everything turns out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna vlog the day of the pop-up market, hopefully. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll show you guys the rest, hopefully, when I'm there. And yeah, hopefully everything goes well and all the time and energy I spent crafting in this room is worth it. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.